have no thoughts at all about anything. They walk in and they see these two naked guys and they start screaming like little girls. The person who arrested me was in like a flower crowd. He used to like <laughs> on the corner, he was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave us some cuts. Now he's a podcaster, uh, his life will talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff and Jim. Jeff all right, we're back. We are the new impulsive. I'm sorry. We are. It's fine. We're having like a rebrand. Like George is leaving. Like this is it. This trio is really it. <laughs> yeah, we lost the guy. Look, there's yeah. just a tank, a dirty tank top there. That's all that's left. <laughs> Stephen's on ice. When I, I, hear even, that... I don't even know if it's ice anymore. Really? You is think you're done? Is he off? He might. Yeah. He, he did might. some crazy. Shit. We had a wild weekend. Some of us bonded. Some of us saw each other's true colors. Some bad stuff happened. Some good stuff happened. Some of it will have to be censored because I know you guys got crazy and you don't feel comfortable talking about your personal lives, which is fine. You know? I think it's you. I think you're I, you're the worst of the three of us of like, oh my God, don't put that online. Like what I just did. And you're sober, bro. Yeah, I'm sober. I had a great time and I'm still continuing the same level of mental wavelength that i'm on you know when i hear the jeff fm music to me that's like almost the equivalent of hearing like the opening gospel in a ch in church he used just, to be out on the corner he was it's good vibes drugs. man it's good vibes gave out some cuts um before we start how's everybody's <laughs> brains doing today i'm great dude i've never been better i i to me, Coachella is just such an important time of year where we can all let loose, leave our inhibitions at home, and explore the boundaries of human consciousness. And that's just what I did. You take alpha brain? I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> so much alpha brain. So much alpha brain, dude. Oh my. Today's the first day where I actually feel like a human being after Coachella. Yes. Like, I know that we've been pushing. Like, you wanted to podcast eight hours after Coachella Sunday, which was... The, I wanted to podcast immediately when we got Coachella. there. Yeah. Yeah. And we appreciate that with your sobriety, but we made so many decisions that I you think... You keep throwing this term sobriety. I do... I do enjoy psilocybin i think people know that occasionally i'd like to dig deep to explore my trauma and my inner yeah. demons you know sobriety i love sobriety Same. and we <laughs> uh we crossed that line with uh the psilocybin i guess you want to put we've a talked about it name before. On it. Yeah. yeah i did it one night i didn't like it and I, i'm gonna stay sober for the rest of my life i think that's good yeah even though i had that one bad night i still had a great weekend great memories but um <laughs> you had a bad trip <laughs> i had a bad trip dude i fucking freaked out he comes out to, he he comes out to you at neon carnival and he's like he's like i gotta go man i gotta get out of here man <laughs> we'd been there for five minutes Not you know. told me we're going and to the I took, bathroom I'm too little... which is crazy come up to mike i'm leaving come up tana i'm going to the bathroom <laughs> well, Fuck no, okay, listen 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 <laughs> tana there's a reason why i had to do that what's it called like an irish goodbye mm. yeah I wouldn't have let you leave. I know you wouldn't. I, I, I honestly, especially drunk me, I wouldn't have let you leave, and I respect. Seventy five hard, Tana. You would have been like, look, I completely understand. Go ahead, get out yeah. of here, go feel better. I still probably wouldn't have. But seventy seven day, yeah. Tana. Mm, probably not. You're like you're my not safety. You're fucking blanket. leaving. Absolutely. You were like, we can. T we can speak we can communicate telepathically that's what you told me one night i was like yo i gotta get the fuck the out mushrooms of here probably had me genuinely feeling that way well damn happy to know it was one-sided no 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 it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't i i really like i had a breakthrough i realized what we are as a oh motherfucker see how long it's been I, what the fuck is this? That's how it works. It's like in the movies, you know, in like the rom-com when the guy is about to like profess his love every time and something like stops it from yeah. happening. Let's this it. happens Let's to Jeff and I like now, all the time. Hello? Hey, Jeff, this is Eric. Eric, hey, what's Jeff, going on? Ryan. Yeah, We have uh, who? I got Ryan here. Oh, Ryan. awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's Ryan the weatherman. All right. Yeah, you could send him up. He's the weatherman. He's, a, he's good to go. Yep. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, now Ryan's locked in. I mean, he's like the most important part because now Steven's... Are you going to cover what happened with, with Steven? I am going to cover it. But first, I want to say what I realized about us. Okay. We are basically... Oh, and I, I don't need to do, do this. It's not that serious. It's not emotional. I, I like it. It's like... Can you put... No, put it back on. <laughs> we're basically the cast of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, turn it off, actually. You know, because <laughs> Tana is like one of the guys. You know, oh she God. like comes back. She's like, yeah, yeah, I fucked this fucking TikToker. <laughs> he's hot, but he's an idiot. You know, Jeff. And I mean, <laughs> no, no, you know, she never said that, but she was like, you know, how he feels because he's jealous because he's crazy. I'm jealous. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, but but she's like D. You know, D. Do you ever yeah, watch of course, the shows? I know. And D, she's yeah. like the coolest, and we all say like she's ugly and a whore, but she's really not. You know, she's like actually not like either. really cool and. 
She's you know, funny them. and talented. I'm beautiful and, I'm and beautiful, yeah, it's... and all that stuff. But it's like part of the show. And you and I are are like a mixture of Mac and Dennis. Yeah, yeah. You know, who's Mac? Who's Dennis? Well, Mac, I kind of look like, but also, you know, I'm probably more of a sociopath, narcissist, like Dennis. And you also, with all the girls all the time, you'd probably be Dennis too. Who's you know? Dan DeVito? Uh, that'd probably be, I guess, Stephen <laughs> and or Stephen and Ryan would probably be like a wild card Charlie. You know, like a fucking. Yeah, yeah. Like that, you wear that tank top. I feel like Charlie would wear that grayish yeah. tank top. How do you get a piece of clothing to look like that? What was your, <laughs> what was your standout moment from the, I, dude, so much happened. I really didn't know which way this weekend was going to go. It's what, like our fourth, fifth Coachella. I've been to so many of them. And, it's and like it's, oh, it's, oh, yeah, it's always so chaotic. You really never know what to expect. Um, We got there this time in Tana. Tana like was claiming that she had strep. I was treating it like she had the the bubonic plague. Yeah, I had a you treated a me like with... I had like like AIDS. I could give you through the skin for the first twenty four hours of Coachella. Dude, same, I think same. I just had a sore throat and then it like went away and I was fine. But I'm very dramatic, so the but first it, day I was like drama dying. But it's also it's just such a different experience for us. Like there's we talked about the ring. Uh, mm-hmm. The rings of the oak tree last time, and I know that yeah. was a really popular topic. And not too long after that, I got called a tier four influencer by by Super Snake online, and that became <laughs> oh, a whole we thing of the up? weekend. You can we pull the, up that? You meme? made the Coachella meme of the weekend. Yeah, it did. But but um, you are the face of clout, 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 Coachella, clouded, Coachella. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what. But to call but that. It. But I want to talk about that for a sec because there's like so many different like bubbles and like webs of of people doing different things at Coachella and we fall into this strange web of people that are also like working like Mm. we're working like I'm there to have a good time I'm there to to party and to see people and to you know network and meet new girls and all that shit but like the whole time in the the, yeah the whole time in the back of your head you're like Dude, I gotta, I gotta shoot this. I got the sponsors coming today. We gotta do the dating show. Mm-hmm. Jeff, Jeff's like, yo, when are we gonna do the podcast? When are we gonna do the podcast? When are we gonna do? The-? I'm like, dude, I got home. I know. I three was stress- hours. I was ago. stressing all you guys out about Not about really. our, our sponsor of the house summer, which was great, and they weren't even great on my sponsor. ass. They didn't even care. No, great they just basically like took care of the house, watched sure. us do that dating show, and they're like, guys, do whatever you want. You know, they were super cool. They're great. Well, I tried to tell you, I was like, dude, like, no disrespect, but you get me, you, and Tana to do a full length integrated dating, dating show. show like <laughs> yeah. I'm, so, I'm not gonna be a dick but that's like a couple hundred g's dude i'm not i'm not Honestly, playing like we they got they got a good fucking deal and it was on that. fun and it's gonna turn out great i was yeah. when you were saying things like that to me i was like that's my problem like i don't i don't have enough confidence ever since you know bro you're one of the what ever since what I guess, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't want to say it in such a serious tense. But. Yeah, but after watching back the footage, it's like we might get an offer for a dating show after this. Mm-hmm. Dude, there's a bunch of different like lanes on YouTube, and as far as like lifestyle and like like uh, socially and culturally relevant event vlogging goes, like it's us three. There's yeah. really not many people doing that type of content anymore. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, there's a bunch of like kitty vloggers. There's a bunch of like prank vloggers beauty beauty vloggers but as far as like showing like what actually goes on behind the scenes of f1 or super bowl or coachella that's us so like i do believe that i'm just three months late but yeah (laughs) yeah you post a little late but i i do think that we could command a a a pretty penny in terms of of when we work with sponsors and stuff like that i mean i fucking do it well let me explain let me just explain for people so they know what's coming it'll probably be out in a couple days we did a dating show the first day. Well, it was the first day before we even went to Coachella where everybody's like kind of in a rush and they're like, yeah. they got everything going on. But, you know, we, we started shooting this thing. We had 10 girls that we speed dated and Tana was on the mic with, I had an in-ear and she was giving me advice, but really that advice was more of a sabotage. <laughs> it was so fun. It was just so fun telling me. And the girls were that. all in Coachella outfits. And, and it's hard because Jeff was like in this fine line of, you know, he's like low-key trying to fuck. So it's like he can't be like too no. awful, and I'm what like, are you talking nah, about? I don't think he, work I think mode, that... especially like, like, I... but you're not gonna say some foul shit to a girl, like you know, like I was trying to get you to say some. foul They were shit. saying more foul shit than we were. I, I was guess like, that's true. me and him, like we always, whenever we do this, like kind of dating shit, even as far as like, um, when I did side men Tinder is concerned, yeah, like we we're like older, so we always have to be like an extra like twenty percent back yeah. with everybody else, yeah, because yeah, otherwise yeah. we look like <laughs> weird like creeps, so. So like I was trying to do the best I can, but girls kept volunteering like crazy information. She's like, I get ain't in the bathtub. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, the the girl that bumped her head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl that hit her head doing on the bathroom in the shower i was like oh, you didn't have to tell me all i'm that. like was that me it's gonna be so, it, it was just the energy because everybody was like 
just ready to go and we caught everybody at perfect time to do that show. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Who yeah. snuck a bottle girl in there? They knew that's my weakness. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. That girl ended up getting mugged at the festival and her cell phone robbed. I had nothing to do with it. I was nowhere near that, but I did get her number. Madison, if you're watching this phone's episode. Phone's gone. Her phone's gone. Next time I'm at. Oh, no, she got a new one and texted me. I got her number. I'm going to be at Zook this weekend for the Ryan Garcia fight. Wait, I'm going. Are, yes. <laughs> yes, so are you, I think. We, really? we should all go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Madison, if you're watching this episode of Jeff FM, I'll see you this weekend at Zook. All right, I think you're at <laughs> Bro, you are such that fucking guy in the pyramid right now. Club promoter. <laughs> Madison, I'm calling it, man. You're a bottle girl. I don't know that pyramid I'm... is, so I want to like kind of. I think kinda, it's kind of inaccurate. It is a little bit. I want to break this down a little bit. So so Super Snake, for those of you who don't know, he's kind of like the chosen one of like uh, the highest echelon of like scene Instagram. So like the jet set, he kind of represents the jet set and kind of breaks it down for the everyday man, woman. Dude, we're on the way to Coachella and I'm on the ox and I'm just trying to play music and like vibe. And Mike's like, turn it down, turn it down. And you give me this whole dissertation on Super Snake. Like, He's the echelon yeah, of me. Because like, I didn't know that up. you guys, I didn't know, you, neither of you guys I have no idea who's Super Snake Which is crazy to me because like if you go on the page, everybody you follow is following him. Yeah. Like he breaks down, like I said, the jet set for people that don't get it. But he put yeah. together this chart. Not you know, rings. you're almost in the bottom of the pyramid. I mean, a lot of this is true. I mean, the biggest person at Coachella is the sponsor, is who's paying but for I the house, think... the jet. We ran, I ran into a couple of these guys over the course of the weekend. Mm -hmm. They've got, you know, 14 little Instagram models that follow them into Tau, yeah. into the Tau party. They paid for the jet, all the sprinters, the security, all the artist bands. And they're coked up and they want to talk or business with all Or 2C or K these. or whatever. You got to understand, there were people at this festival that were out half a million dollars on yeah. the weekend. Easy, easy half a million dollars. Mm. I would put you up with tier. I think you are a tier one promoter. <laughs> I think so too. Yeah. Like, with what you do, you you know you you make shit shake. So I would move you up there. Yeah, I agree. Because people say like you got your career handed to you by whatever, but. I think you if you say didn't, what, you didn't have your career handed to you, you would have been a great promoter. Tier well, one. I mean, I technically <laughs> is kind of what I, I mean. When the cameras are off, I'm I'm doing this kind of stuff. I'm yeah. I mean, that's why so when it comes time for me to make friends. a YouTube video, I have access to whoever I want to have in the video. Because yeah. those are the people that I hang out with when I'm not shooting. All right, today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime this spring by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered. Looking for more ways to save this spring? HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I've personally been using HelloFresh because a home cooked meal is better for you and it tastes better. So get HelloFresh, try it out for yourself. Go to hellofresh.com slash jefffm50 and use code jefffm50 50 for 50% 50 off plus your first box ships for free. That's HelloFresh.com slash JeffFM50. All right, thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring the show. Dude, yeah. it's just like hot Insta models is too high, bro. Well, speaking of hot Insta models, you had a beautiful weekend with my best friend. Yeah, Ashley Schwan. Miss Ashley Schwan. Yeah. Jeff, can we talk about that? Yeah, Tana too. <laughs> bro, there's another Tana out there. I, it's insane. They're to see not you the walk same. Around. They're very different people. How so? They're so she she like you or a very is a very beautiful girl, um. But she definitely uh, exhibits some qualities that I would look for in like a long term <laughs> relationship. To be honest. Because <laughs> and I definitely don't. No, no, you're <laughs> you're like one of us, dude. God damn. <laughs> no, but she. Uh, Oscar can it. <laughs> she, I, I, so, for example, I was trying to get a David, a VIP wristband, mm -hmm. and they were like two grand. Like, and I couldn't find them. They were mm -hmm. like impossible to get. Like everybody was sold out, and I'm I'm kind of freaking out because I want David to come and film for my mm. vlog. Yeah. And out of nowhere I look and in comes this gorgeous glowing platinum blonde you know beauty into the room. That's how it With a down. dangling a VIP band almost like a girl who brings you lemonade in the summer when you're parched. 
you know, and she was, and she, and she said, and it was almost like that light right there shone like an angel light on her. And she had a halo around her head. The angel of Coachella who brought the band that will get you into heaven for my Nazi videographer. That's, <laughs> you know, who otherwise would have gone straight to hell for what he did in 1943. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ancestors. I, and ancestors. I, exactly. And I got the band from her and I looked at her and I said, you know, you I've had a guys? long life with hot girls some girls with even a decent personality, but providers are my new thing. And you are a provider and you check the first two boxes too. So Ashley Schwan, I love her. We didn't get a chance to hook up. We made, I think we, you made us make out for your vlog, <laughs> which that. did happen. Uh, but we didn't do that anything else acting. after that. Yeah. But I kind of oh, like that. We're setting up a similar dynamic here. I think the four of us could yeah, be really. Yeah, I commented on her picture. I was like, "Wow, I'm happy that Mike found his own Tana." Oh, I mean, bro, that's that's, that's, old, that's uh, your own Tana, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, oh. but like I said, just a little. We thing. are now, different. We're different in a lot of ways, but we kind of yin and yang make up for each other. And now, like when I first when I first met her, she was walking into the house, rolling her suitcases in, her and her friend, mm -hmm. and no, they uh, started screaming at the top party? of their. No. Because when she walked into the Super Bowl party, I'm like, wait, is that Tana? No, 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 no. At, at Coachella, they, so they're, they're walking into the house rolling in their bags and they start screaming. Mm -hmm. And it's because Ryan and Steven were skinny dipping together in the backyard. <laughs> And this is just straight off the. We just fucking got like there. This is right. Horror. This is right off rip. They, like they've been there for maybe five minutes. Not not drunk. No, nothing. Not they just, they just get naked together. They're like, let's do it, man. It's crazy. Yeah, and they walk in and they see these two naked guys and they start screaming like little girls. The guys because they're like, oh my god, these girls are gonna see us naked. And they run behind the barbecue. And the girls like, this is a. Is this a bit? What the fuck is going on in this <laughs> no house? No cameras around. Me. No but it's cameras. Just, it's just so funny because I don't ever see any of this stuff because, like, that that stuff happens while I'm doing like the actual Coachella shit like like at 11 p.m. or whatever on us? no but I'm gonna continue to explain the situation and break it down kind of like Super Snake did He's at trying 11, to get up the pyramid I'm really not for next well, year yeah it would be nice but where like at so 11, much better than you guys uh, I don't have any fun I'm just I was getting wristbands for neon and so no, y'all were with me. Y'all were with me. What I'm saying is at 11 p.m. when Steven is wiping his fucking pale uh, spotted micro penis on people at the house. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's I like, spotted isn't true. Spotted? Okay, just keep going. Just, just get, I'm he sorry. has like intratrigo or whatever it's called. I'm sure we can Dude, find a picture. Of What's it called? Vintatrigo? Vitiligo. 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 Vinaligo? So sounds cool. like a, a sounds like you're saying like Vinny Hacker. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something you put on a salad. Dude, but when you guys are like at the house touching each other's dicks, you have to understand there's like a whole line of events. And as yeah. the day goes on, you can attest to this, the debauchery gets worse and worse. And um, yeah. this is leading to something, so allow me to say this. The day starts, you go to a day party. The day parties are chill. Everyone's sober, having a good time. You know, you go on a, the swings, you have a hot dog, you have an 818 sponsored drink, or maybe you would have a LaCroix even, for example. I had a LaCroix. Right? I was going nuts at that stand. They had a LaCroix stand. I was like, yo, I'm the biggest fucking ambassador of your guys' shit ever. Me at the Smirnoff stand. Yeah, and so that's, like, that's revolved. Then you leave and you go to Coachella. Now, by the time you get to Coachella, people are starting to dabble dabble a little bit. You got a couple of drinkers. You got a couple of, when's the Frank Ocean set, dude? When do we get a go to blink 182 people are getting crazy you know famous tiktokers are getting arrested for cocaine possession that was All funny whoa I love no when need to talk about it i just love when it's not me i've been arrested at coachella and i just love when it's not me i saw myself in that person we ain't gotta like, talk well. about it okay but you know and it continues to devolve you've been arrested at coachella that's where my mugshot's from mike we'll talk about your promoter stuff in a second uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was really how you got arrested it was at coachella for what yeah. sniffing um, coke no jeff <laughs> <laughs> what i mean that's what the other influencer got arrested yeah, for no, right i was just underage drinking um but i was like i was probably like 18 so they lock you up or they well, just... they, they have undercovers like uh, even the girl who got caught up this time got caught up by an undercover like the person who arrested me was in like a flower crown and like lace <laughs> i swear so to god i swear to Dude, god that's so messed up like a, a hot pink flower crown like, i was in peace, handcuffs they're like peace and love man but you're under <laughs> arrest damn that's a good undercover <laughs> yeah honestly. they go so far oh, they're like on acid and mushrooms bro what the fuck is this shit <laughs> <laughs> where are the bad ones rubbing our dicks looks like 
like that's you, buddy. <laughs> right. Yeah, because that was like set, that was late, bro. I was that like, was late. <laughs> that was like s probably 4 a.m. You guys do it at in midday. I, I was like, Ashley, did you hook up with Mike? She was like, No, he's just running around the house naked. That's like as far <laughs> as we want to know why yeah. I was doing that because she came into my room and I was naked. So then yeah. I I don't know why I, I probably should have stayed. Anyway, <laughs> listen. Steven, Steven was like. Yo, Mike has such a big ass dick. <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, All right, so so continuing on. So the day oh continues to devolve. <laughs> now, as the night sets start to happen, you know, people start getting a little more reckless. Maybe you see uh, the 2023 version of James Charles on the Ferris wheel, and it turns out to be a straight man and an eight-foot woman. Who knows? <laughs> Complete theoretical. Completely yeah. theoretical, okay? Yeah, yeah. Who knows, right? Anyways. <laughs> then... You leave the event, and that's when the after parties start, okay? So one night it's Rufus Du Sol at Zenyara. The next night it's Tale of Us. Then it's Neon Carnival. Mm. And everybody, this is where things start mm. to devolve into mm. madness. Mm. The people got their blockers on like Jeff has on right now. These bad boys right here, they call them shields. Mm -hmm. Because nobody wants to see these people's eyes at 4 in the morning because God forbid what they look like, right? For sure. Then. For sure. Like my eyelashes stuck to my tit and I'm Crazy. making awful decisions. Crazy. Know? Yeah. Then sure. three, four AM comes and that's when the, the you know, the nor even the most psychopath people go home. But then yeah. there's an entire layer of next level debauchery that happens at, mm -hmm. you know, at a place called Laguna Crack Seca. Heads, did you say? Laguna Seca. Whenever you're in a goddamn car to Laguna Seca, like go to rehab. But bro, was, basically, oh my God. basically What's you're Laguna getting, Seca? Laguna Seca is a private like nine house neighborhood of the biggest houses. <laughs> oh, I know that what you're talking about. And you Far go there from Coachella, though. for the biggest. And you're not going to go till like 4 a.m. And it's like when you're in that party bus to Laguna Seca, like you need help. It's you know? bad news. Mm -hmm. They're like, yo, who's spinning? They're like, dude, you'll never believe it. We got Nyjah spinning. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay, this is bad. Yeah. So Laguna Seca parties pop off one night and I'm watching this video the next day thereafter of my good friend, Jewish Tav and Black Kifa being <laughs> arrested. <laughs> My I neighbor Kifa? Neighbor Kifa at 8 a.m. being arrested. He's actually arrested. my neighbor. He lives down the hall. <laughs> Why were they being arrested? I saw Tom <laughs> shit. Like, was it? So Kifa actually matched the description of someone who had robbed the house. Do you want to know what the matching characteristic of was? Mm. Uh, black man. Black man. So they put him in cuffs immediately because he matched what they could consider. What was it? A BMA? Black male adult. <laughs> yeah. You got that video? Pull, pull yeah, up. What did, what, what did they say? It's on my that Instagram. was a ridiculous a video to see Tav being pulled out and he's like, I'm white. Yeah. Yeah. Insane <laughs> that that was a real conversation. I thought I'm that was white. a bit. I thought you guys like paid the cops or something. No, it was 100% real. I, I thought bro. the I'm white part was a bit. I was dying No, that, that shit was the funniest thing ever. Okay, here we go. Of what? Of what? It's not what us? happened? This is crazy. Okay, so we being detained for what? This is for BMA. what? A BMA. What the fuck did that mean? Black male adults. Black male adult. I'm white. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. They could just do that. I'm huh? white. And he got let go. But I mean, you know, that's just the kind of stuff that happens at Coachella. And uh, mm. it's just a, it's the one time a year that we could let all of our inhibitions out. What did I say? Well, out that's the just kind of stuff that happens at the after parties at Coachella that are, you know, that's the sun's up there. That's <laughs> the sun's coming up. I was I was about to wake up and go for a run right there. Yeah. My thing when I was waking up, because Steven and Ryan were sleeping on the couch, I would just come out and they would be like knocked out. I'd be like, yo, you guys see my vape? You guys, and they'd wake up, like look for it. Oh, fuck, <laughs> dude, you're fucking with me. It's so funny for me to ask them for my vape because they're so used to it. It's such a normal thing in their you vocabulary. Waking up to run the miles was just nuts. Well, I think that when you get hangs, not anxiety, obviously you don't drink, but you'll have like anxiety from the night before, like whatever happened, you have to run it off. I got to run that off. Yeah. Well, uh, the biggest thing for me is just not sleeping. I mean, I yeah. think people like Same. fail to realize what the effects of like not sleeping do, do to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's dramatic. It's like, dude, there was I had three or four night, three nights in a row where I got three hours of sleep. That's, I came home and had to sleep for like thirty six hours. It yeah. almost made our crew fall apart. Like it definitely started <laughs> some drama between a lot. There was a lot of drama in the house, you know. Yeah. And I'm. I'm well, down to talk about Jeff it. Jeff FM boys. I yeah, think. no, not between us. We were all good. Maybe Mike had some outbursts at like 6 a.m. He's like, turn the music down yeah. or something. Like, That's I heard somebody bad. cough. I think you said I heard somebody sneeze or something. <laughs> that, like, what, there's no sneezing's allowed? You're not allowed to sneeze? <laughs> I left the group chat as soon as I got out of the driveway. 
Yeah. <laughs> what, Chella House? Yeah. No, Oscar, I laughed out loud at you leaving the group chat like that early. I was dying. Wait, did Steven leave the group chat or get booted? He left, I think. But uh, there was a lot going on. There was beefs happening left and right. Well, they um, just can't not bite. Like Steven and Ryan and like all of the They fight. Well, they're friends. They work together. They hang out together and all that mixed and living together now. Mm -hmm. All those mix. It's usually a bad mix and and bad stuff happens. It either makes you fight and you you push push each other apart or it makes you closer. We'll tell the story. Tell the story. We're on the way back. We're driving home. You know, we're all coming down off a high and the car breaks down. (laughs) The fucking... The engine starts smoking. Brand new Tahoe that starts smoking. A, a tube came out of the radiator. Must have, just, the car must have just not been cared for properly by the rental. Yeah, 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 exactly. Nobody's fault, but the car breaks down. We were making great time. I was driving on the shoulder. I was making moves. <laughs> and I, I saved this about two hours in the traffic. I caught up to you. You left two hours early. I caught up to you. Yeah. That's right when I hung up that phone. I was like, yo, we're making great time. I'm going to catch you. Boom. The fucking car breaks down. And... You know, nobody's really, like, upset. We're like, all right, we're going to figure this out. It's fine. We'll just fucking, we'll, we'll all do this together. Yeah. Steven, <laughs> I'm out of here, pulls out an Uber. He's like, you guys want to come? Oh, now you guys, now you, not only do you want to leave, now you're going to take everybody well, and leave me there? Well, he Kyle and Ryan separately in front of you. Uh-huh. Like, you were standing there trying to figure out this situation for everyone with yeah. you, and then he group chats Yo, Kyle let's and Ryan, dip. Let's, let's dip. dip. Like, I'm the fucking dad who has to figure this shit out now. I know I'm the older one and I'm responsible for some stuff, but things like that, like, shit that hits the fan. That would piss me the fuck off. Shit hits the fan, you're just going to fucking jump ship right there. So that was some bitch-ass shit that... To be honest, if he wants to get back in the crew, he's going to have to do some gangster shoes. He's going to have to fight somebody. <laughs> or he's going to, like, I don't know. It's Maybe we've got to jump him back in. <laughs> well, you're you're missing, the, in my opinion, the most vital part of the story where I would be sick oh, yeah, yeah. at someone. He gets in the Uber. He takes the Uber home and then texts Jeff's, like, assistant CPA and invoices him for the price of the Uber. <laughs> <If> any- <laughs> If any motherfucker in my group did that, like dipped out on me, left me with the car, baking sun, last day of Coachella, I'm dying, I'm figuring it out, and they invoice me for their asshole Uber. Steven, I know you're watching right Sorry, now. Sorry, Steven. <laughs> I know you're watching, and I don't know if that was just a coincidence with the timing. Maybe you sent it to Ivan the day before, but that timing, I could have fucking pulled, I could have ripped your head off right there. Like you're just baking in the sun waiting for a new car and you hear cha-ching. Yeah, <laughs> Ivan, is this approved? Steven's Uber home that. where he bailed on us, on that, the boys. Oh, that's crazy. Kyle and Ryan were shocked. They were in shock, but they stayed there. They stuck it out with me and I'll never forget that. I'll never forget that. It's Actually, funny that you, it's funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's crazy how much I could relate to that story. <clears throat> I was, uh, just if you have a second, I was shooting this uh, video a couple weeks ago um in miami yeah and um i had this huge plan i was gonna go to the bahamas i had this whole thing planned out and we were gonna take this flight to this private island and can i get the music back on no it, it fizzled out that story are you fucking <laughs> all right real quick i'd like to thank the sponsor of today's episode summer summer is the dating app we're all on and we used it at coachella to find our dates Summer's great because you can see where the people are in your area and you can select them. It's not just swipe, 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 and it's not all just about hooking up. If you're spending all your nights alone watching Jeff FM episodes, it's probably time to put yourself out there. You're probably wondering, how is Summer different from the other dating apps? Summer is the dating app you won't keep deleting and re-downloading. I'm partnering with Summer because they actually want you to meet real people in real life instead of starting chats that will never leave the app. Download Summer now and you'll find someone to watch Jeff FM with so you don't have to do it alone without having to re-download t- or hit let summer take your dating life to the next level and get you on more first dates summer's offering a free week of summer plus for the first hundred people who use the code jeff after signing up head over to the app store or google play store and download summer and use code jeff that's summer in the app store or google play store and use code jeff thank you summer for sponsoring the show and stay tuned for our summer dating video that will be out this week it's it was a lot of fun to make and it was a lot of fun to go on dates again. So what now? So Steven's done. Did him and his inter trigo dick? No, because because trigo's crazy. Because the beef wasn't even between us really the whole weekend. Like I love Steven like a little brother, you know. And that's why I care so much because I want to be surrounded by men that I could count on, you know. Yeah. And that in that situation, just having somebody jump ship, it really it really hurt me. Yeah. And. 
You know, if I if I don't trust the guys around me, then I doubt myself. I doubt everything, and it puts me in a bad spot. I can I can relate to that for sure. That that I understand. Does it make you more appreciative and more um, just grateful for the guys that you do have that you know or that are by yourself? Yeah, yeah, it did, it did, and yeah, you bro. know, it really made Ryan really, really, you know move up the totem you pole. told me you looked behind and he had a full mechanics outfit on he was under the car with a ratchet yeah trying yeah, to yeah, fix yeah. it while steven was yeah to go the home. weatherman all of a sudden became a mechanic like he was really <laughs> trying to earn his respect right there and he did he did and i think this is a perfect time to cut to the weather segment you know because yeah because i'm actually i'm happy to see him for once <laughs> What's this? What's this you doing? Yo, what up? I'm fat. You looking cool, bro. You looking I'm like? Fat. Are you doing like a Mike impression or a Jeff impression? I'm homies with Ryan, and he said I could do this shit. Oh, this is not Ryan. It's a lookalike. Hey, well, if you see Ryan, tell him I really appreciate what he did on that ride when my car broke. Mike, down. I fucking love your videos, bro. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Stay clocked I in. I like all the boobs and the fucking cheeseburgers, bro. <laughs> shit is sick. Are you big? I love. Like, huh? Is Sorry. It, are you still? Yo, Jeff, can I get a fucking haircut, dog? <laughs> can I get a fucking haircut, bro? Yeah, this is what people do when they see us out. He's. Yo, making, can I get a haircut? Bro? So he's making fun of the audience right now. He's making fun of you guys watching. Yo, this is what. So is that? Because people were Mike, coming up to us, sick. and this is what, what they say. This is what they what say. What Logan like? <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's, what's he like in real life? Is he a fucking maverick, like for real, or what? <laughs> is it all bullshit, or is he a fucking actual <laughs> sick maverick? Yeah, answer him. Is it? Is it? Do you know what I answer now? When have, you've seen what I answer? Yo, is Logan? Logan, here? Di like Logan died. <laughs> That's what I say all the time. <laughs> I come up with Crypto these. Is coming. I come up with these. You guys go to Chella? Yeah, we were out there. It was, it was fire. Sick. I think I. I think I should go next year. Yeah, next year is gonna be dope. It gets better and better every year. The lineup's been crazy. Yeah, Frank dropped out weekend two. That shit's. Whack. <laughs> Are you actually drinking right now for this? Is that a review? I'm drinking Happy Dad, bro. Do you guys know them? <laughs> I can't, I can't, it's hard for me. To yeah, interact. those are, yeah, those interact are our boys. This guy. Those no, are our boys. they're fucking dope. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite one of the Nelk boys? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh Tanner will do it. Tanner. <laughs> Tanner. Yeah, Tanner's dope. Tanner's a good guy. Tanner's fucking a or, nice or, guy. Sorry, Dustin. Dustin will do it. Dustin. I like Justin. Oh, I no. Like Unfortunately, I feel like I've hooked up with someone just like this. And I think that says a lot for real? about me. And it's like yeah. super. Wait, for real? <laughs> Wait, for real? What's your name? Tanner. We'll do it, unfortunately. Is it Tanner? <laughs> Wait, is that a dude? Wait. I thought that was a chick this whole time. That's a dude? Yeah, bro, be progressive. I know you fuck with Nelk and shit, but what do you guys don't assume my gender. What are you guys' thoughts on the trans community? I fuck with them. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was such a PC answer. Dude. I think actually it's cool that women can do all shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's dope. Yeah, you better watch it, bro. You're gonna get kicked out of the squad saying things like that. Yeah, that's no, we're say. we're the sorry, we're the PC house. PC house. <laughs> What's your what was your name, bro? That. Is that was it Zach? That T H E T that. <laughs> What's he saying? Yo, if you that see... that that part. Yo, is he deaf? <laughs> I know he's old and shit, but like, can he hear me or not? His hearing is a little bad. Yeah. All right, bro, we gotta wrap it up. If you see Ryan, tell him I appreciate what he did out there, and and he's, uh... he said he's on his way to some something. Okay, cool. Well, we got to let you go. It was nice meeting you, bro. Uh, fill in for him more sometimes, right? It's cool. Yeah, for sure. Cool guy. <laughs> hey, uh, Tara. What song is that? Steve will do it. Oh, that was, yeah, I knew that sounded familiar. There he is, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Yo, good to see you, bro. We were just talking to your friend. 
What'd you guys say about my ex-girlfriend? Wait, keep that mic away from your mouth, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. Um, yeah, people complained about your breathing last episode. I know, I'm sorry. I saw so many comments, <laughs> dude. It's because I'm used to, like, stand-ups here. Hold it right All right, big shot. You asked a good <laughs> question when everybody was uh, tripping out on psilocybin. You were like, if aliens did invade us and they just became amongst us, how long do you think it would take before a human fucked one of them? Like a Four week? Seconds. That's a question you're posing? Yeah. Are you fucking you know serious right now? For all what do you think? I'm gonna fuck Four that seconds. Alien. Four do you understand? Now. Realistically, like a human finds this alien. Still, like like five, ten minutes. Like someone's doing it. You're doing it. Do you understand what these things are capable well, of? Have you seen those movies where they like create the character? They create the like non human like thing, and then the guy falls in love with it. And he, like Shape of Water, how she fucks that fucking are creature. You, yeah, have yeah, you yeah. seen the blue mutant from X Men? I have never wanted to have sex with anything of any female species avatar. in uh -huh. my female life. Avatar. yeah, the avatars blue are hot. Yeah. Avatars. Bro, I'm telling you, the aliens that land on this earth will be able to perform sex acts that would make Tana's most fucked I mean, up, E-driven night look like Jake juvenality, Tana. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, these things are going to come to this earth and make us all come. <laughs> I'm not kidding, bro. I'm dead serious. I've been thinking about this since day one, dude. They're gonna have, they're <laughs> gonna have like, <laughs> okay, their hands when they join their their index fingers to their thumb, they're gonna be able to create like a little whirlwind inside their hand. So as opposed to having to do a twisting jerking motion, they just stick it on and it spins. <laughs> it's gonna make this sound. It's so hot. And 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 their hands, the insides of their palms, are gonna secrete a liquid that lubricates as this washing machine like device spins in their hands. Oh look, there she is, dude. Are Damn. you serious, bro? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna it's do like this for minutes. all mankind. I'm gonna fuck that alien. <laughs> how the fuck do y'all have that sound? <laughs> I've thought about this before. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's how humans became humans. I think we were all monkeys and Neanderthals, and then aliens came down, and we are the the child of You're that. You're going to hell. That's directly in combat of what Jesus actually did. Okay, I'm allowed to have other... Yeah, you can have other opinions. You can think whatever you want, but just understand that those opinions will earn you I a look, place you know what I was, I was just like, joking around. So, so, Jeff, you think that if, like, we were spacemen and we found an island full of animals, you'd just be like, we gotta fuck these things. <laughs> we need to fuck these things. Cause no, because we couldn't right. even talk back then. We were monkeys. We I know, got but the, the aliens intelligence fucked us. from Jesus. Sorry, that idea has been shut down. <laughs> Sorry, God. Thank you. Thank You're you. right. What is this, impulsive? Shutting down beliefs. My uh, alien, I'm gonna preach alien, my, my preach. human fucking alien hypothesis. A monkey fucking alien is now shut down. Whatever. Uh, you don't. I don't care. Ryan, how did you? Did you have a good time out there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what was your your favorite part of the weekend? Um. <laughs> what was my favorite part of the weekend? I think honestly, me and Kyle talked about it, and I think me and Kyle hanging out. Me and Kyle oh, just I love walking Kyle. around, hanging out, and we got really close nice. this weekend. And it was fun joking around. See, that's what I mean. Brought some people closer together, also pushed some people further apart. Mm -hmm. Who? Jeff, what do you think it did to <laughs> us? Yeah, his chair you're in. You're leaning on his dirty tank top there. Might want to get off that. Oh. What What did you do? What do you think it did to us? You think Coachella brought us closer together or further apart? You You're always worried about my opinion of you when you're like drunk and stuff. But no, I, I was think you're fun, about this and weekend. I think it's. I I'm think just saying overall, how do you feel after Coachella? Definitely brought us closer together. We had that nice moment that it didn't really translate when you put it on Twitter because you said I love you, and then I was like, I'm no longer disgusted by you. And, you know, I think you needed the timing to really understand yeah. that. Because I meant it, and I meant it yeah. as, like, there a was joke, love in but your also, eyes. yeah. You said it nicely. And then you tweeted it, and then a bunch of women just got mad at me. Because it's like, <laughs> why do we need him? He's so toxic for you. I'm like, yo, chill. It was a fucking bit. Mike was filming it. It's part of the night shift, I think. It wasn't. No? See, everything's a goddamn bit. There's no cameras. <laughs> was it not filmed? No. Ooh, what? Sorry. Then why did I say that? That was another. <laughs> <laughs> that was another tough thing about this weekend was that there was like maybe five, maybe six pieces of content being shot. Like at any time, like I would be like, "Yo, David, shoot this," and I would look, and there would be like four hundred cameras mm -hmm. or like phones, and everybody would be talking, like, "Yo, what's up, guys? Day two at Coachella," like in the background. Well, that's Coachella. It's a content creating festival, and then there's that VIP section where it's just everybody trying to network. Everybody coming up oh, to you. Yo, I, I haven't seen it. you in two years. 
Well, who's doing your merch? Who's doing this? Oh, we actually do it in house. Oh, well, we should still talk about what? Remember? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I have, any, I don't remember? have any of those comments. I, know comments. I have Chinese children making my merch. Trust me, it's the <laughs> best possible price I could get. Even if I said that, people are still trying to get me to. My tags do say help me, you know? Huh? <laughs> I don't have any um, of those conversations. Bro. No, I feel that. I feel like you and me stood at the VIP bar for like six hours, like literally one of the nights of Coachella. Just like, it was just so LA, like just LA in mm -hmm. Coachella Valley. And I've done that for so many years. I'm so done with it. You want to go? Let's talk your agency. Let's talk OnlyFans. Let's talk this. Fuck you. I'm on Molly. Like, I don't <laughs> want to talk about that shit. I don't come out there. I don't have dust from the desert in my fucking butthole right now. Yeah. I'm not rolling tits. I'm not, I'm, my nipples are taped to my yeah, neck. Yeah, Mike I can't sneezed breathe. one time. You have both blood and like. So much. Because yeah. like, your nose gets caught up from so much sand. Absolutely. And the whole time you have I don't to wear it. It's like, am I good? It was all over his chest. Off. Oh, that's crazy. Really I think I'm coming down off just talking too much. I'm, not, I'm not used to being that active. Like Social battery. Well, we are sponsored by Blue Chew today on this episode. It's a new sponsor of ours. Mike has been uh, working with them for a long, long, long time. I've many, taken many years. more of these than I've eaten pieces of broccoli in my life. Wow. I'm not even kidding. And that's why I'm able <laughs> to throw down such that was your clip. massive dick. Cock sandwiches, bro. That was your clip. This thing puts me in a. This thing puts me in almost a trance. It turns me into some sort of superhuman, fucking, uh, El Gordo. It's just crazy, bro. I go nuts. Because they make me do things that I would normally never even think about doing. Well, because it gives you confidence that you don't normally have. Uh -huh. This isn't just for people who need them. This yeah. is for people who are trying to be the best they possibly can in the bedroom. Mm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not trying to walk into the bedroom and have the teacher afterwards say, good job, that was a satisfactory performance. Blue Chew is an online service that gives men access to chewable tablets for stronger and longer lasting erections. Pretty nice for the chewer, but also for his partner. Everything is done online and delivered to your door, so no awkward in-person visits to your doctor. You complete a help form online, and if you're approved, you get the chewable tablets right to you. Blue Chew is perfect for those time to chew moments. When you meet the girl of your dreams, when your girlfriend texts you that her roommate is out and she wants you, or when you drop the kids at your grandma's home, you see the vibe. Plus, Blue Chew is giving you your first month free so you can try it right now when you use my promo code WITTEK. That's W-I-T-T-E-K and have better sex, man. Come on. That's W-I-T-T-E-K and have better sex, man. And stop saying, I don't need it. If you say you don't need it, it's probably because you haven't tried it. Get your first month free now and stop playing. Blue Chew, it feels good to be a baller. Tana forces her boyfriends to take them. No, imagine. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't, right now. Like yeah, entry, the entry back. out the door. I don't like picturing you having sex. Well, you don't have to picture it anymore Thank because you. you can now watch it on video. Come over here for a second. I'll show you <laughs> one of my... <laughs> this from my, from my encrypted vault. Is I this a like, known thing that you have a... This stuff? No. Yeah, she no. knows. I feel like if the FBI wanted like information out of anyone, they could just like play those videos. That's another thing. Elon Musk was saying in the thing, he's like, when I bought Twitter, I found out that the government could see everybody's DMs. Bro, who gives a fuck? I wrote a book about smoking crack. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Look at my fucking asshole for all I care. I don't fucking care. I mean, Jeff. China and I say some crazy shit to each other in DMs. Who gives a fuck? You guys fucked. What no one gives a that's shit. That's not true, bro. Don't put that shit this out weekend. there. Wait. What if Joe Biden is reading our fucking DMs of Tana sending me Joe memes? Biden can't read. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my what do you, Russia, what are you guys Russia, trying to Russia, hide from? No, dude. they want nothing from us. What, like OnlyFans hooker, ex former convict, laugh at a meme? No, there's better things out there. Yeah, you know? It's true. I guess it's no big deal. That's how I look at it, at least. What are you trying to do? To Mark, tell me Mark Zuckerberg sits at home watching Steven jerk off? Hell yeah. <laughs> you got something you're hiding? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, I don't give a shit. That's what bro. I see in sleep paralysis 100%. I actually shouldn't even be a fucking creator, dude. I should be, I should still be in the bathroom. I just have so many naked photos of Steven on my phone that I'm worried about, you know? <laughs> I remember one time you came in my room and you just look at me and you were like, did you do it last night? And I was like, maybe. And you were like, I saw you eat a burrito. Dude, yeah, you did. <laughs> dude she did festival. Do you know what? Can I tell you that? Festival, festival is crazy. Is insane. Okay, I couldn't like. Have... There's nothing, dude. Like it was. It was like the tip, bro. It was not like festival fucking. But I'm just saying, like, 
I want to say I he, he was like let's do this. I was like no. He was like no, I don't care. Like oh, <laughs> like you know that was his energy. Tom <laughs> didn't take no for an answer. <laughs> okay, sick. No, not this like that. Cool. Not no, not in a uh, no, I, I assault know. in I, a like yeah. It was like consensually <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he got dirt on his dick. It, burrito, you got burrito, burrito, dirt, <laughs> shit, dick. No, Dude, no honestly, I never shit on a dick. Listen at all. Me, any, can, in any can, room. No, this should be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Festivals during the summer make people act crazy they yeah. just do they just do i i have festival stories that are fucking insane yeah and not even from coachella dude from east coast festivals that involve also buttholes you know air conditioned oh, tents with with casper mattresses and high lux environments acid you know george bush signs all kinds of weird fucking shit damn it's like you were around are... for that woodstock that they made the documentary <laughs> on where they no it was actually ironically a, a festival called for all the east coasters watching it's called the firefly music festival in delaware not fire festival mm. but there's a really good festival every year called firefly in delaware that has a crazy lineup i'm happy that you guys experience some festival life that we all experience it together tan i know you've done enough of it but i go to a lot of festivals why me like you're 40 <laughs> nice. 24. Halfway done. Halfway you are not 24. Ooh. 24. And you are not good 24. Half gone. <laughs> the good half's gone. The good half's gone. Tana is not 24. Mentally, not at all. Like, check this out. Halfway done. You're going to set him up for a fucking. What? Another, he's going to have to go do therapy. Again. He needs it. Yeah. yeah you weren't born in 98. I was baby. born in 1998. No, you you're not yes, t- that doesn't make you 24. What do you think I am? 35? It's just the cigarette mom voice and the <laughs> abundance of trauma. Dude, you sound like you, you sound like you've been chewing rubber bands. That's weird. Me and Tana would have been in the same high school grade no way i'm 99 oh wow wow i feel like you're so much younger but you look way older <laughs> awesome <laughs> tana you might have figured something out out there what i think you might have found a cure for whatever virus you had because when you came in you were riddled with like Dude. you were messed up God, bad disgusting. but Dude. then you did like the walk it off you know you just went out and partied i and then swear you to god back. the cure for my illness was like molly and dick like, like I had a Z-Pack. I took the yeah. Z-Pack. It didn't work. Like, I was still ill. Like, I swear to yeah. God. I don't, there's oh. something going on. That's not me, okay? They like say Dude, it's you, me. the, the things been. you say, you say them in a way that's so clippable. Like, I'm very careful. So when I talk about something that's like, like pretty crazy, I make sure I make it super long form so nobody can TikTok it. You literally I just want said the it. cure for my COVID was Molly and Dick. <laughs> like, you said a sentence that was so clippable, and then you have you, you and you have my face like this. Next to it. You're, next a, to you're an accomplice. I'm 38 year old YouTuber is next to Dan has this quote from Coachella. Damn, and you, that's you, sick. you're like so lovey when you're. When when you're drunk, obviously, mm. like you get all fucked up, and you're just like talking about this yeah. stuff. And as you're saying it, you're just spitting directly into my <laughs> mouth. I felt your spit land on my tongue, and I'm like, oh you know what? God. All right, it's already done. <laughs> fuck it. Like for the first day, we wouldn't touch you. We wouldn't come near you, yeah. Mike and I. Yeah. But then we just caved. We we're like, all right, fuck it. Here, you're spit in my mouth. Uh, you know. Honestly, you're so welcome. Do you know how many sam? You know I think you were enjoying it. I ate this weekend. You want to talk about those sandwiches? I mean, dude, because you asked him what his favorite hot, hot topic. That, thank you. You asked him what his favorite part of the weekend was, and mine. You know, there's a myriad of topics, but I gotta say, dude, having sandwiches with you, bro, that would be my top moment. Yeah. Mike made me a sandwich like dude, three times. I was like, God, oh my god, maybe I can makes, drive a car. It makes no Shit. sense. Like you look at the. <laughs> That's not manly. <laughs> you look at the you look at the output of like expenditure on a weekend like this. We'll, we'll break it over real quick. Yeah. $30,000 house, $5,000 driver, Tana's got a security guard, thousands artist of dollars bands. in artist bands, all Outfits. of this shit. We're talking about 50 to 100,000 dollars for the group. And then in the fridge there's just prime sandwich mushrooms meat. and cheese. Sandwich Logan Paul drinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, a lot of stuff happened. We don't want to get caught up on the sandwiches. They were great. Time. We had great sandwiches. We bonded over the sandwiches late at night. That's that was a good quote. A lot of stuff happened. We don't want to get caught up on the sandwiches. That is a good quote. You got one there, and you got one about the fucking dick and Molly curing your COVID. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Right? Um, I want to rate some fits because fashion is obviously a big part of Coachella. So let's play a game. I wish Ashley Schwann was here. No, <laughs> well, we're going to talk about her. We're going to talk about her. I'm not rating a 16-year-old's fits, dude. Good for you. Oh, uh, we're rating other people's fits? I thought it was just us. Uh, I mean, they're, yeah, they're killing it. We can't they're rate like, our own fits. I like that they both got blonde hair now. I told Dixie, I was like, I like the crazy shit you're doing with your hair now. It's cool. <laughs> Keep it up. What happened to that one's knee? Maybe it's fashion, you know? 
Who's that? Dixie was my favorite dress. Allison, at are we going to actually talk about these? Who's that? Who is that? Hailey Bieber. Bieber. I love the boring shit. The real famous bitches went in their most boring outfits, and I think it says so, it says That's something. That's the way to do it. Like yeah. I'm not an influencer, and I don't give a fuck about. That's what I did. I didn't buy flawless. nothing. I didn't buy none of my outfits. I had all that shit in my but closet. You, but I'm saying even the Playboy pants. Like a, a no, the vest. pants Mike picked out, which is fucking insane. Wait, sorry. Mike can you reverse? Can you reverse I, back to Haley Bieber and just pause it for a sec? That that's a flawless look. She obviously Haley's beautiful. I do want to say. Uh, Justin Bieber made a a post on Instagram the day after Coachella praising Frank Ocean for the one of the greatest performances he's ever seen yeah. in his life. Frank Ocean's vocals Meet. are unmatched. What he's able Meet to do Ryden. from an artistry standpoint is incredible. Yeah. I, I I don't know what show he was watching. I don't think he was even at Coachella. I think he must have been watching Cartoon Network or something because <laughs> the Frank Ocean show that I saw specifically was a, a listening party for an album that came out 35 years ago. It's not and that, so, though. That could have been fine. It was kind of like the weird beats under his hits and like the awkward long remixes. pauses. Remixes. He wouldn't sing for a while. Not to mention the fact that he made us wait about a L.A. to New York City flight for him to come out, which <laughs> is fucking insane. Like his DJ twerking was like the main like thing. Like, And now he backed out for a weekend, too. He's gone. Yeah. Over. Blink and Blink, too. Which is crazy because Blink was already on the lineup. They they already decided this past weekend, like, yo, Blink's not a headliner. And now they just like have to. Made up the headline set. Yeah. I, and on that note. Bl uh, what if they got like Kanye doing those AI songs? Because they can't actually have him. <laughs> like a hologram. Kanye, like, well, hey, no, there, Delilah. I'd go back. I would no. go. You know, I was like, when I got back here, I was like, never again. I'd go back if they were doing that. So Absolutely. Blink 182 set, phenomenal. Absolutely fucking insane. They played a bunch of old shit. But I do want to make sure we talk about the music for a hot second. Top two sets of the weekend, and we'll hopefully all agree with this. Metro Boomin, fucking crazy. Brought out Future, The Weeknd, P. Diddy, 21 Savage, everybody under the 21. fucking sun, the entire uh, John Legend, everybody from the music industry. And then for me, number one set of the weekend, Fisher. Back to back. Chris okay, Lake. bro. Who cares? Let's talk about the Instagrams and the outfits. Come on. Let's get back to what the people care about. I didn't about. see one set except for Frank. How pathetic. The music. Did you know why? Did yeah, you guys know why Frank was Music an hour festival. Late? It's a music festival. Nobody cares, bro. Let's talk well, about the outfits. Why do they care outfits. about fucking Dora the Explorer? You know, like, who, <laughs> That's racist. How is it racist? Because she's Mexican. Oh. Oh, and then I laughed so hard. I right. just thought it was funny. He didn't know Put who it she was. Put it on yeah. Yeah. Put it on Damn TikTok. You whites. I just thought it was funny. He didn't know who she was. Okay. Who is it? Who is it? Victoria Justice. Beautiful. She's not Mexican. Well, she's Justice not Mexican. Mexican. She's Mexican. like Venezuelan. Yeah, thing. dude. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seven. Uh, five. Ooh. I always get in trouble one. for my fit ratings, though. <laughs> Damn, you know what? That blended right in with the big stars when you pulled that one up. I was like, oh, this guy's cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Yo, can you zoom into the mirror real quick? Is it you taking a fucking photo of him? Even more to the mirror side? Well, I guess you can see it. Hannah kept complimenting me. She was like, oh, wow, look at that. I'm proud of you. And, yeah, and you would stop. get so offended because you're like, well, I can't fucking dress myself. But I was really proud of you this weekend. Yeah, thank you. I thank kept you seeing him that. taking mirror selfies mm -hmm. all weekend. Mm -hmm. He was feeling himself. Yeah, I got my so. confidence back. I got rid of that mullet, and I feel good about myself again. Sometimes Kyle's also a star cut. of that photo. I will say. Yeah, yeah, that's why I couldn't tag him in it because I was like, I, I, I don't want all the attention to go to Kyle in You're this. Such you a know, piece of Kyle had such focus. a West Coast fucking look, dude. That like day, hippie dude. stoner vibe. Like it's dope. He looked like he was like Wiz Khalifa's like sound guy. Like I liked the headband. But then also I tagged down. Kyle. Then I got to tag fucking the back of Mike's head and then the David German. over there and like you know where do I stop? You're just uh, you so know? brave, man. Look at this, the the Kith fi fishing vest. You guys want to come on my podcast and look at photos of me? <laughs> hey, I don't, I'm not pulling up the picture, Ryan. That's, that, you can get the fuck out of here now. You want to fucking do that? You, you, Let's rate Ryan. How are they gonna pull, give Brian, Jeff, pull Brian. How are they going to give Jeff like the all-star IG photos and then do that? They and I swear to God, that. if you violate me like the that. name on the wall. That's one thing I want to talk about. Y'all with your Snapchats. Just... <laughs> It, it's like it's like you're taking the photo with a toaster with your head turned around. Like no fucking regard of how anyone's posing, how anyone looks. No, I don't know and why. And then it's like, God forbid, I like would like the photo, but it would look good face tune. Then I have to face tune it. Then the fan accounts are catching up. Like, oh, Mike posted this, and here's the original. And, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. My yeah. Worst we'll, start, we'll start running. No, 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 I don't know why. I don't know why I do that. Because I always look at Snapchat as the channel where everything just disappears. Yeah, it's not real. It's not real, dude. I post all kinds of reckless shit on Snapchat. That's insane. Um, that's that's a yeah. good that's, that's a good look right there. Insane photo. Insane. What's going on in that? Um, I can tell you. I can break it down. 
I'm wearing makeup from like that morning and it's giving like I the night before's makeup as well is like in there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Definitely on something. I think mushrooms there. I had to take off the makeup and redo it in the confidence of my bathroom before I went out with Oscar and his fucking girlfriend. And then you're gonna take this fucking photo and put on the fuck Y'all are my friends. Y'all like, are my friends. I like because friends don't fucking do that. I like no. how everybody's just reverting to mushrooms. What is nope, this? Nope, nope. I know nope. your content. Get four snap views. Oh I don't even God. remember this. You were faded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, was I? Like, yeah, the confidence of my friends. My, you know, my friendship. I'm getting rid of my friends. Oh, my God. What it's is my good? collarbone. Ooh. It's an awful photograph as well. Your I didn't post it today for a reason. Out in that. Your boobs are awesome. Sweet. <laughs> what is this, bro? Logan Paul. Like, why are these my choices? The same my... outfit. Too <laughs> no, like, Jeff got <laughs> four, like, FaceTune yeah, Instagram photos. Yeah, bro, he's a photo. scumbag. And then we're That's just... how you looked all weekend. It is how you looked like, all even weekend. Like, even Ryan's Ooh, got a look great at her, shot. Look at, look, at her, yeah. look at her back there. Wait, who's that behind him? Who's that, <laughs> who's that behind him? There's the bottle waitress that you... Oh, yeah, up with. there she is. Maddie, and... I'm coming for you, Zook, at Resorts <laughs> World, baby. <laughs> See you soon. there's Ryan's ex-girlfriend. She is so... Fucking ugly. <laughs> God dog looking. Girl, I would give my kidney. Bro. I don't know how you did that. I don't know what what uh, lies w you told her. Riz. Just for just for last year's uh, all time sake. Fuck. There it is. Oh shit! You got Jeff. me an LP. Me an LP. <laughs> Jeff, you look sick. Logan Paul's Man. boyfriend. You were Logan Paul. Paul. Ryan had the funniest bit, and then it ended up turning into like y'all's bit too. But just telling either one of these boys that Logan's calling them and watching them run to their phone is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It's a joke. Dude. I have I have a couple on camera though that you really couldn't argue. That your reactions joke. are a joke. Would you stop the are podcast? We, uh, are we doing any other of Mike's outfits? He didn't even Did he have any other outfits? That's like literally all I found. It's not true. Really I, think I, think that that group group chat. I had like seven fits, bro. Can I get a rate on mine? You yeah. guys just talked about how you want to bang my ex girlfriend. <laughs> it sucked. Mm, uh, ten out of ten. Brian's look was but effortless, not like but not like you know you gotta you can't do the celebrity effortless look yet. You know. <laughs> I like it. But that's my vibe, bro. I like it. Is that what you're going for? It. My whole vibe is Super I don't hot. do stuff. I mean, Daddy. it's cool, bro. It's cool. The hair's good. The hair that you gave me so much shit about, but it actually changed your life. I got a heart on my Starbucks cup the other morning. Someone put Ryan with a heart from the person that signed my name, and it's the haircut. My life is changing. It's yeah. Something like that I has agree, never the happened. Is life I love that. It's never happened in my life. I love that we're able to do that, you yeah. know? But, yeah, but I just can't get over that, that ex-girlfriend, man. Same. That's all I'm thinking about. Just even in that shot right there, dude. She just looks so pretty. She's <laughs> looking at me. I know she, she looks like a witch. She looks like an evil witch. <laughs> yeah, what just, the it's fuck? It's just crazy. We all kind of left Coachella last year with... We were in love, all of us. We thought we were. You know, they all fizzled out. But Coachella kind of has that, that aura around it. You know, you feel like you find the one and then we leave. And do you feel like you found that? out there this time i know tana did no for honestly sure. jeff the internet's shipping us right now for how in love we were at coachella so i'm having a serious trouble with you know yeah i don't know that, it's, that was it's a, a funny dynamic where you just had me hanging out with your boy toy the whole time and taking pictures of us and just posting us on your snapchat saying my two boyfriends <laughs> That was a funny picture. I just couldn't make my mind up. You know what I mean? People say that you can't have two boyfriends and be happy. And I definitely did this weekend. I still don't know his name. How does he... <laughs> TikTok big cock. What does he say about that when you do that? Um, I don't know. Do you just say... Oh, he, doesn't, he doesn't say much. Bro, he don't give a fuck, dude. He's a fucking popular TikTok for you star. Bro, she's one of the guys. It's crazy that she could come back into the kitchen while we're making sandwiches and be like, Poor yeah, man. this kid fucking did no. this. No, oh my God, relax, relax. <laughs> no, but it's I've been no, texting like two people this year. Y'all are taking down no. bodies. How many people you hook up with at Coachella? Zero, zero. Zero. <laughs> I met a girl that runs. She's on Strava. You know, that was cool. <laughs> Talked to her about running. Hey man, yeah. kudos for that, dude. Thanks, bro. Great. Hell yeah. Get it. I came out in the backyard and you guys were having a moment in the hot tub and she told me that I raised her. So <laughs> she did like Tana's videos. That's That was the, I'm sorry. the icing on I'm the cake. Kidding. She's it, a I Tana mean, fan. Clearly, my TikTok boyfriend fucks with the barbershop too, though, you know? So. Oh, does know. he like the show? I don't know. I I think I the, let's get him on. <laughs> I think I had the best sex of my life this weekend. I think same. I'm not even, I'm not kidding. Even for a second. I was going to keep my... With the same one that I've been fucking. I'm excited. <laughs> Ryan's ex. Really? You found love, bro. You, you rekindled. You rekindled love. Huh? You rekindled love. No. 
from high school, your no, high school sweet star. No, she sucks. Really? Oh, actually, <laughs> really? for the video, yeah. I, don't I know. was shipping that, Mad. like, day three. You guys were, like, I feel like it's where someone, like, hits your bits and your jokes with you, and she was, like... That, that was, was a different girl. Oh, that was a different girl. Oh, different yeah, girl. Different I liked girl. her. Yeah, yeah she, she was, was like, nice. a, yeah. It was like a sister. They were doing the same voice. You yeah, fucked, though. Voice. You know. Zero. Uh, nice, bro. That's dope. Yeah. Thanks, man. Mine was a recycle. That's why I'm happy. I like I'm the recycles. I like searching. the recycles because then you don't have to worry about, you know, eight it's as good. much. It's mm. a good thing to call it. I've always said that. <laughs> recycle. Reduce, reuse, you know. Like Do for the planet. You can't get eight. All right, all right. Can, can, I, can, I can I say something? I've tried. Can I say something right? serious for a second with all this fucking tomfoolery you guys are doing? On the topic of recycles, and I mean this. It's just better, dude. It's just better. You know the person. You know what you're you're getting yourself into. It's just better, dude. Like I I want. I I'm, agree. I'm trying. I'm looking for that long term thing, dude. Mm. You know, or moderate, or even short to midterm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like just like not one you're night. You're forty. One night stands are just. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Who said that? We're supposed to spread our seed. No, no, I agree with that, but I'm saying like as much as possible. Nah, I don't know about that. See, they're cute. That's cute. Yeah, his sister. <laughs> Wait, that's sister. your sister? <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. Every Hello. Time. Hey, what's going on, man? Welcome to Jeff FM. How's it going? Good. Is this a confession segment? A question uh, segment? What, what are we looking? It's a, at? it's a, it's a confession. Ooh, all right. How is it? We love a good confession. Uh, it's. It's a, it's a, it's kind of crazy. Is that tough? Um, is it sexual? Because our last no, 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 no. It's episode, something where down. I could probably get in trouble, so I'm not gonna name the company. Okay, okay. cool. We'll figure it out. Go for <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Um. So there was an event on the campus of this like you know big company I work for, and it's celebrating for uh, an athlete for you know this company, and they named like the building after them, whatever. And you know this event's very you know VIP. I, I was, I'm just working it just because I got, you know, asked to. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll do it. Yeah. Um, because this building's new. Also, uh, I had to use the restroom. And so I went to the bathroom and used the restroom, right? Mm -hmm. And I kind of clogged the bathroom. Ooh. And this event has very big names and like people. So I got so afraid that, like, you know, I finished my business. I just left. And after I left, I kept getting messages from people saying, hey, you know, like, like what happened? So, so one <laughs> of my friends knew. One of my friends knew I went in there. He's like, you good? Like, like they're not letting one use the bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, I I'm chilling. And so it was like where I got pulled into the meet, like, uh, you know, they had cameras outside the bathrooms, right? I got pulled in and then they said like, uh, somebody got hurt from, you know, entering the bathroom after I left. And I guess they slipped and, you know, well, on rolled your their shit? ankle. On your oh shit? my oh, shit God. Water. So the toilet <laughs> yeah, and then, and fucking miss Yeah. And, and, and so I, I, you know, for me, I just said, I'm like, oh, it wasn't me. And um, they said, okay, well, because there was like a lot of people using the bathroom. Um, they just thought because like they looked at the cameras and they said, I looked afraid. And so <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's nothing. And so that's uh, it's pretty pretty much my confession. I don't but. Think well, that... bro, the only way you get caught in that is if you're telling yourself because there's no cameras in the bathroom. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I said I, I, all I kept saying was it wasn't me, and uh, you know. Deny till you die. Deny till you die. Deny, you know deny. What, you know what they say, man? Shit happens. Nice. nice. I guess, yeah, nice. Shit happens. Was yeah. that was that at the Mamba Academy in Calabasas? No, it's uh, Ooh, no. You answered that. Why did you slip on a bunch of shit and hurt yourself? Yeah, I slipped on a bunch of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you worked on what's been going on with your bowel after that happened? Uh, I, I mean, I know a lot of that goes on. I just can't really say much. So I'm just gonna... Who's better, Steven or Ryan? Who's better? Ryan. Okay, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, bro. Thank you for calling the show. <laughs> thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Are you only saying that because I'm here? And don't worry about that <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, I don't know if Ryan was there. Yes. Yeah, Ryan's here, bro. You made the right call. Fucking good love stuff. Ryan. Good stuff. Thanks for calling right. in Thank and, and spilling bye -bye. that. Appreciate Thank you. It, bro. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thanks for calling in and spilling your guts, buddy. All right, we're back. We're healthy. We're on to the. Well, well we're going to start a family now, all of us. He's fucking punched. He's so done. I'm about to go shoot an episode of Cancel. Then our guest today is Billy McFarlane, the guy who's doing Fire Festival 2. He's doing it again. Is he doing it again? And, yeah, and he's about, right, I'm he's about to get the again. exclusive, and I'm so excited. Ooh. To ask, oh, do you guys have any questions I should ask him? For, do, are you gonna, um, why? 
yeah. And Chill. cannabis launches tomorrow on 420, the pre-order. Ooh. Um, so I'm excited about that. It will be on delivery Send some apps. Over here. Delivery apps all over the Wait US. Wait a second. We're doing big things. <laughs> We're We're the three of us are doing big things. If we could just keep our dicks clean and our nose is clean long enough <laughs> we can have something real special something real special i think i might run back 75 hard coachella was a wild wild weekend well, I'm love ready. i love that but if you don't i got I it out of my system well. though you know I, i'm kind of liking this like being really strong for a long time and then getting it out of my system and then just you know i'll tell mm -hmm. you this much if you have trouble take one of these bad boys you'll be doing 75 hard in your sleep <laughs> Damn, we are a dangerous. What happens if a girl takes blue chew? They're gonna cut all that. You got a dick. You got a fucking dick. Your clit. I would be unstoppable with the dick. I would be so unstoppable with the dick. I think about it every day. What are you guys' thoughts on the Mr. B situation? What happened? What do you do? Um, one of his. Are you fucking serious, crew members? Are you? Do you think even remotely for one second that at the one hour and ninety seven minute mark? Of brain dead mush brain. You're gonna ask me about a transgender issue. Are you fucking serious, bro? What are your thoughts? I have no thoughts at all about anything. Right Hate now. it. Okay? Yeah. Like, what do you want me to fucking say? Canceled, dude? bro. Canceled.